Senators push sneaky new anti-privacy bill. The Earn It Act is an attack on encryption masquerading as a blow against underaged uh, adult content. And th this is what they always do. You guys know the pattern by now. They slowly strip away your rights. They slowly destroy everything. And they always have two excuses. It's either to protect the chillins or it's to fight the bad guys, to fight terrorism. It's never about that. They say it is, but it's all about them having more power over you. And here we have another example. Like these geniuses legitimately believe they could ban encryption. Now, uh, they may be able to ban big tech companies from keeping things encrypted and you know, not revealing it to the government. But uh, if you yourself want to set up your own encryption, there's nothing they can fucking do about that. All right, so a cabal of unsavory U.S. senators have introduced a long-anticipated measure that would pressure tech companies to weaken protections for communications privacy in the guise of a measure aimed at child adult content. Uh-huh. And, and see, it's the same thing like we talk about backdoors, right? If the government has a back door that they could decrypt all your shit and see everything, what's going to happen when that back door eventually gets discovered and ends up all over the freaking internet? What's going to happen when hacking groups find it? Exactly. You know what? You know what's going to fucking happen. And when the government, who is responsible for this security hole, like they're literally saying, your stuff is too secure. You need to make it less secure because we need to control every aspect of people's lives. And then when uh, we get another uh, incident where hundreds of millions of people get their personal data breached due to these bat and these fucking back doors, the government's not going to be held accountable for that. Oh, no, no, it's the company's fault. Yeah, if the government was held accountable for what happens with these back doors they introduce maybe I'd be a lot more willing to let them do it. So while the bipartisan bill S3398 never mentions the word encryption, it makes online companies liable for information exchanged by their users unless they adopt practices approved by the government. So how about making the government liable for security breaches that are caused by these practices? So smart observers assume that means leaving people's messages open to Snoopy officials. Exactly right. The Eliminating Abuse and Rampant Neglect of Interactive Technologies, or Earn It Act, would create incentives for companies to earn liability protection for violations of laws related to online uh, child adult content material, asserts a March 5th press release from San Judiciary Committee. The release lists Senators Lindsey Graham, Richard Blumenthal, Ho oh, Josh Hawley, and Diane Feinstein as leaders of the bill. <sighs> All of them uh, are very famous scumbags, by the way with an additional three Democrats and two Republicans as co-sponsors. Yeah, you ever notice how uh, they could, the Democrats and the Republicans can always get along and hold hands and sing Kumbaya when they're taking people's rights away? They never disagree on growing the power of the government and taking people's rights away. They both want that. Now, civil liberties advocates of all stripes push back immediately. And it's probably nothing going to happen. Everyone's too busy uh, freaking out over where their toilet paper is. So they're just going to, this is just going to silently pass. No one's going to hear about it until uh, a few years later when the full force of this hits and people are realizing the internet is effectively destroyed. Uh, at least the normie interwebs. But that's, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, the measure would lead to a backdoor in encrypted services, thereby jeopardizing the security of every individual. What did I just say? Technology experts and civil, uh, civil society organizations have repeatedly warned that backdoors could be exploited by bad actors and that no backdoor could guarantee only law-abiding officials have access. Yeah, that's the trade-off. Do you accept that some bad things will be done? and let people be free? Or do you just put everyone under uh, under some authoritarian government? Because that's where we're going right now. So while the official text of S3398 is not yet available, draft copies have circulated for weeks, giving lawyers and tech experts plenty of time to examine its implications. In particular, they've scrutinized the bill's reservation of uh, Section 230 protections against li liability for the speech of third parties to only a company that has implemented and is in compliance with the Child Exploitation Prevention Best Practices published by the Attorney General. Now, you see, this shows how fucking scummy the government is. This is the proof. So we keep saying, if you want to stop big tech censorship, 
that's when you remove their Section 230 protections. If they censor, they're basically saying we're a platform or we're a publisher, not a platform. So if they want to be a publisher, they need to be treated like a publisher and lose these protections. So only platforms that don't censor would maintain their protections. Because if you censor something, then you're basically saying that, oh, this stuff that I disapprove of will be off our platform. But what you're also kind of implying is the stuff that's still on your platform is stuff that you explicitly approve of. Because you would have kicked it off if you didn't approve of it, right? So yeah, th that is why they should lose these protections. But these fucking worthless piece of shit politicians aren't willing to do that. Instead, they say, oh, no, 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 we're going to remove your protections if you don't let us spy on literally everything. That's how scummy these politicians are. Now, this bill is trying to convert your anger at big tech into law enforcement's long-desired dream of banning strong encryption. They're never going to be able to do it. They're only going to be able to target a few specific cases, but the Internet wouldn't function if, it, if not for encryption. So the attorney general could single-handedly rewrite the best practice to state that any provider that offers end-to-end -end encryption is categorically excluded from taking advantage of this safe harbor option. Hey, that just means everyone's going to be using uh, overseas options out of the country. Or he could simply refuse to certify a set of best practices that aren't sufficiently condemnatory of encryption. If the attorney general doesn't finalize a set of best practices, then this entire safe harbor option just vanishes. Well, again, uh, when it, if it, if we're talking about companies that censor, yes, they should lose their safe harbor. But uh, the only way they could lose it is if they don't spy for the government, basically. Yeah, so everyone outside of the U.S., and if you're using U.S.-based companies and services, be aware that your data is going to be there, too. So that's an extrapolation, of course, since the bill doesn't use the word encryption at all. Oh, of course not. Yeah, this. Yeah, they they they're not going to do it. Yeah, no, nobody wants to take your encryption away. The Senator Blumenthal even flat out insists this is not an encryption bill. Uh, uh, yeah, a politician lying. What are the odds? But the senator's announcement of the Earn It Act leans heavily on forcing tech companies to adopt best practices related to identifying and reporting online uh, child sexual exploitation or else face civil recourse if companies choose not to comply with best practices or establish reasonable practices. And uh, this is when out of the U.S., you know, uh, overseas competitors, inter international competitors are going to finally crop up. It's difficult to see how companies are going to detect the exchange of forbidden material if they offer their users end-to-end -end encryption. They'll have to weaken or abandon such offerings to escape liability for users' communications, but without ever explicitly being told to do so. Yep. Oh, but it's totally not about encryption, guys. Totally not. But weakening encryption with backdoors or abandoning it entirely would also do away with the benefits it offers to people seeking to protect themselves from state surveillance, hackers, identity thieves, and nosy busybodies. You could have actually lumped uh, state surveillance in, in there. So the bill would fall short of the goal of protecting chillins while at the same time making all Americans less safe and less secure by potentially exposing everyone in society to substantially higher risk from malicious cyber actors, including hostile nation states. Yep, and now that's another important thing. Everybody who's into the, this child abuse content, they're still going to have it. They're still going to get it, still have access to it, still trade it, still sell it. They're just not going to do it through social media. Most of them already don't do it through social media. Just the dumb ones do. So all you're going to do is force it further underground and make it even harder to find while punishing regular people like us. This is just like the continuation of back when the internet first came out, in my opinion, when uh, a, a few idiots had to learn the hard way that nothing you post on the internet is private, regardless of what it tells you. Once it's on the internet, it's on there forever and assume everyone's going to be able to see it because eventually that's going to be the case. Now, this is an extension of that where people, people in the know we're going to know to never send anything via social media, even if you think it's a private chat because uh, or anything that we wouldn't mind being exposed to the whole world because someone's going to be watching it. But these idiots, like your average person, that you're going to be getting people like ex exchanging nude pics or something, going to get those hacked via a back door and they're just going to be completely blindsided. Oh, I thought that was a private conversation. Nope, never been, never will be. That's what's going on. 
So yeah, that's an excellent point. People use encryption to protect sensitive information from prying eyes. Such information might involve cheese pizza, but it's far more likely to consist of financial data, personal communications, timely journalism kept from investigative targets, and political messages likely to draw the ire of government officials. The reasons for using encryption are as real and varied as the reasons for keeping your cash in a safe and your front door locked. Yeah, that's true. If the DF, yeah, you've got nothing to hide, why don't you just leave your front door open at all times and let let whoever wants come in and, and uh, walk around your house? You got nothing to hide, right? Uh, do you support kids being locked in basements and tortured? Because that's what you're supporting if you don't have your front doors open at all times. So critics also fret that Earnit would draft to private companies into senders potentially, unconst potentially unconstitutional. It is unconstitutional. But just like obscenity laws, these fuckers don't care. They're just going to keep upholding it anyway. And ill-defined crusade against, well, against uh, child sexual exploitation, in quotes, but really against privacy. I'm glad they notice. The proposed bill may not comport with the First Amendment as numerous categories listed as matters to be addressed in the best practices are written in overly broad fashion without clear definitions. Now that, by the way, that should be illegal. It's just like how I said before, how, uh, how all of these end user license agreements and the like should be limited to two pages tops and no legal speak at all plain English. So your average person could actually fucking understand it. Yeah, th that's one thing. And it's the same thing with these laws. Now, these all these laws have to be as specific as possible, and uh, all every single person voting on it has to read it before they vote on it. Because and remember with Obamacare, that was the joke, like this two thousand plus page bill that literally nobody fucking read. And Nancy Pelosi was there. Oh yeah, we we just gotta pass it to find out what's in it. <laughs> well, and. People passed it, and nobody, nobody liked what was in it. Imagine my shock. Uh, so uh, the organization also worries that if tech firms abide by the pressure to search users' communications for forbidden material, a court could find such private companies were acting as agents of the government. That would be perfect. If, they, if they'd be fucked either way, then they have to choose. But the vagueness of the and the conscription of private parties to enforce politicians' whims should come as no particular surprise when we're uh, discussing an anti-encryption law that masquerades as a strike against kiddie porn. Nothing is as it seems to be in this bill, which prescribes penalties for violations, with the means of avoiding them to be sketched in at some later date. Yeah, just uh, everything the government says, you just bend over and do it or else. Now, see, if guys, if this was China that was implementing this, the entire West would be fuming about how China's destroying the internet. Oh, that's so totalitarian. Oh, that's government overreach. But when the West does it, eh, eh, it's just that, no, no, it's normal. So under Earn It, the commission would effectively have the power to change and broaden the law however it saw fit, as long as it could claim that its recommendations somehow aided the prevention of child exploitation. And as we've seen over the years, literally every fucking thing they use as an excuse for that. Yeah, but no matter what details are filled in later, the alleged targets of the bill, uh, child pornographers, are likely to remain largely immune to its mandates. Already engaged in criminal activity and warned by the passage of the law, they're bound to turn to legal or illegal standalone encryption products and the dark web to keep their secrets. And they are already doing that. I just said only the dumb ones are, are using like big tech and social media and the surface web. The, only the dumb ones are getting caught. So short of a form of government intervention in technology that appears uh, contemplated by no one outside of the most despotic regimes, like the U.S. government, communication channels resistant to surveillance will always exist, acknowledged a current year minus four report by the, or for, from the Berkman Center for Internet Society at Harvard University. Lawmakers may despise encryption for the barrier it poses to government surveillance, but their nosy presumption doesn't actually keep kids safe nor reduce Americans' very real need for privacy. In fact, government officials' overt hostility to public use of end-to-end -end encryption is all the more reason to keep such privacy protection handy, whether or not Snoopy senators think we've earned it. Exactly. Why do they want to see all of our personal details so much? Now, if nothing else comes from this, I hope that at the very least, people are going to start getting desensitized to these same old arguments like, oh, if you don't bend over for us, you, you don't want to protect the kids. Oh, you support terrorism if you're against this bill. 
Now, eventually, the general public's response has got them. They need to respond with hostility every time they try this. Every time the government tries to force this shit through with appeals to emotion, the population needs to respond with hostility to that by, by doing the exact opposite of everything they do. Now, that's pretty much my, uh, my modus operandi there. If someone has nothing but appeals to emotion... I automatically am hostile towards what they're trying to push because if they if what they're trying to push was actually in my best interest and it actually made sense, they wouldn't need to resort to appeals to emotion. So when the first and only thing I get is appeals to emotion, I automatically know it's fucking bullshit and I should vote against it. And other people need to learn the same thing. Oh man, I am so excited to tell you guys right now that finally, after about a year of build-up and shilling, we have launched Blade Devil on Indiegogo, and so far it is doing so well thanks to awesome people like you. If you haven't backed it yet, then please check the links in the description and check out Blade Devil on Indiegogo. You will not be disappointed. Looking forward to seeing you there.